Hey everybody, it's BK Stunned here with Dead Space 3. This is uh, Mission 17, Part 2. So this is still uh, a strange city. Just Part 2, because we went and did the uh, optional mission there. Artifact Storage. And this is the way we should go. So no more optional missions for the game, that was the last one. So let's go. I have no idea where I'm going. Isn't that nice of them to write it down for us right there? Oh, that's not right. Yeah, the first one should look more like that. And here's a cool alien door. You can see the pads on the ground here. This is actually a zero-g area. We just have to turn them on. And we're gonna go up somewhere. We'll figure it out. Now on the way up... So we're gonna go this way. On the way up, there's a uh, upgrade circuit, so you should find one on the way. Ah, there it is. I don't even care about you, lurker. I'm just gonna get this upgrade circuit. Now I care about you. Where are you? Okay, there you are. There's probably more of them. Ooh, I don't think that hit me. Huh. I don't even see it. Probably wants to keep going up, I guess. Aha, there you are. You be dead. Okay, there we go. Something like uh, this. There we go. Make sure I'm not missing anything. No, I'm not. Okay. Exiting zero gravity. Oh, these pads. Yeah, these are funky. Let's go break this first. Now check this out. Carver, these dust-shaped areas on the floor, they supercharge our TK capacity, but hurt like hell. What about stasis? What about it? You think it's enhanced too? Try it and let me know. Indeed, we can do that. Take him up and destroy him. We'll get to play with more of those pads later on. That's just kind of like a intro. And there are stasis pads too. So there's TK pads and there's stasis pads. That's really coming down outside. It's raining pretty hard here. So you might get, I don't know, you might get some rain on the video. <laughs> okay, up here, cleverly hidden, is another upgrade circuit. Very hard to spot. 
There's plenty of uh, containers here as well. And there's a generator. I'm sure the mom is around here somewhere. Here's a weapon part over here. So we also got a bench here we can uh, get off of me. Did you see that thing? It was dragging against my leg. We can put that upgrade circuit and frame in. Where the hell did I get all the... Oh, that optional mission. Yeah. That gave us a ton of stuff, didn't it? Ripcore. Plus two damage. Yay. Okay, we got another uh, mission, by the way. This objective came out of nowhere activate alien conduit basically there's a conduit up there that we need to activate they don't really tell you that very well up we go And this area is interesting. There's a couple of different things here we can do. Incredible. If you stand on this, it will cause that machine over there to play. One of the many conduits straight to the heart of the machine. Without the codex. What we need to do is use the kinesis to make the arms. These arms right here. I believe the monolith on this look like that. So the outer two will be far, and the uh, inner two will be up. Later on, we'll do this, but for now, we have to do this. So like Serrano just said, one configuration opens the machine, like that. The other programs it, or some crap like that, I don't know. Anyway, let's do this. So you can use TK to move it all the way up. You gotta do that on both of these ones. And then these ones, I think you just gotta do the middle. Pretty sure that's all you gotta do. And then it pops up that uh, thing here. Go ahead and use it since you have the codex. Oh God, this isn't the city, Carver. All of this, this is the machine. Holy hell. Uh, okay, uh, you're the engineer. How do we fix it? We'll follow Serrano's clues and reconfigure the machine. I just opened a conduit to the heart of the city. If there's a control center for the codex, that's where it'll be. Meet me there. See, we just opened that. But once we get down here, we're going to be fighting some of those alien necromorphs. So get ready. That should do it. There's gonna be three of them. So one down, I suppose. I think the other one comes in from the other direction. 
too close to use rockets on. There we go. Pretty easy. Especially if you have a rocket launcher. <laughs> oh, how are we doing? How's our space look? Eee, meh. Let's go check this out. As, now this uh, this conduit is going to propel us forward. You're going to have to do some light steering. It's really no big deal. Just get on it and press X. <laughs> See, light steering. Nothing to shoot at, I don't think. And here's the end. It automatically uh, lets you land. Now that's the way to travel right there. Pretty sure this is a different code, isn't it? So we got greater than, less than, double less than. That's my way of remembering it. Uh, there should be a scavenge point here. Okay, follow the uh, left hand wall, but keep going. There's some enemies there, isn't there? Uh, see, I'm not doing this right, am I? Here we go. So past that uh, turn there, there's a little cubby to the left, and hidden away is this alien artifact. Very easy to miss if you're not looking. Looks like there's a upgrade circuit over there too. I wonder if I can grab that. Yep. May as well grab that before you check out this module. And that's it for collectibles in this chapter, so let's just have some fun now. Check it out. It supercharges your stasis. Is done. Oh, that's pretty easy. Let's keep going. Hey Carver, I'll bet this supercharging effect might let us TK the limbs right off Necromorphs while they're still moving. That's great, thanks for the tip. <laughs> you can pull the limbs right off these damn things.
Makes it pretty easy. Oh, what? Where did that guy come from? Oh, he got me. Tungsten. Good stuff. Alright, let's see here. Double greater than something. Alright, well, that's the end of chapter 17, guys. This is the official start of chapter 18, Kill or Be Killed. So I'll cut the video off right here. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. We'll uh, get through chapter 18 in the next video. Okay, everybody. Later.